Every house has a jukebox ceiling, well almost, and whether you're doing home improvements or repairing an existing one, it's definitely something you can do yourself. And I'll show you how to make it look just as good as the pros, almost. Now this ceiling was damaged by a leak in the roof. The roof's been fixed, but you can see the ceiling hasn't. So the first thing I need to do is square up this hole and get a new sheet of plaster on. Now before I repair this hole, you can see that there's a big bow in the ceiling and that's where the water's been sitting. And between this joist and the next one, it's just allowed it to bow. So I'm actually gonna be making this opening bigger before I patch it up. And the quickest way to cut out the new section is to use a multi-tool. And if you have any lights in the way, just make sure you get an electrician in to disconnect it before you start cutting. So the middle joist is the only one that gets glue on it. The second thing is in between the joists, we need to put a back block. What's that? Well, it's just a bit of plaster with some studded adhesive on it. And what that does is it joins the two sheets together in between the joists and it will prevent it from cracking in the future. When it's bad, Then screw around the outside and down the middle into the joist. You just want to make sure that you use plaster screws. You'll see with the timber screw, it has ribs underneath the head and that helps it counter sink into the timber. But for the plaster board, you want to make sure that the screw is nice and smooth underneath because when you put it in, you just need to finish flush with the paper. You don't want to counter sink it, otherwise the board will just pop. Next, cover the joints with easy tape. Then follow up with two coats of base coat. If you get a smooth enough finish, you won't have to sand. All right, that's the uh, two coats of base coat done. Now we're ready for the top coat, which is a nice smooth finish. Now you'll notice that as I've been stopping this up, the join has gotten wider and wider, and that's because we want to feather it out. And again, with this final coat, I'll go wider again, and that will give us a nice flat finish. Right, now everything's dried, I've just given it a quick sand and you can see that it's come up looking nice and smooth. I'm just gonna go over it with the sealer and undercoat and then we're ready for the top coat. And when it comes to the final coat of paint, you just wanna make sure that you do the whole ceiling and not just the patch, otherwise we'll stand out and all that hard work will be a waste of time. There you go, you can save yourself a bit of money by doing it yourself. And unless you're a professional, you'd think that's a professional finish.